Take a look at what the uh, odds makers think about this game in this series. The Warriors still heavily favored to win the series, as you would expect. They're up three games to two, but they are four-point underdogs in game six, according to Caesars. And our basketball power index gives the Celtics uh, a 70% chance to win tonight, even though Boston is just six and five at home this postseason. Keep in mind, teams that lead three games to two in the NBA Finals go on to win 81% of the time. So... Before we go, we want to get some picks. Richard Jefferson, who wins this game tonight? How do you see it playing out? I'm going to say Warriors win the series, but I still think Boston wins tonight. I'm counting on Boston. Vince? I'm going the other side. I'm going to say Golden State to make it a great fight. All RJ right, says so Boston. I'm going to go with Golden State. All right, so yeah, I mean, look, we have a situation here where either they're celebrating a historic title uh, here tonight or they're going back to, uh, to San Francisco, excuse me, for a game seven. If that happens, if Boston wins tonight, uh, what's the conversation over the next couple days, Brian, about, uh, about game seven and what the Warriors need to do to close it out back home? The, the Warriors fans don't even want to hear that. They don't even want to hear that. <laughs> I, I, I would just say that it's very difficult to foresee what's happening in the games in this series. The games themselves have been unpredictable. The Celtics, you know, everything points towards the Celtics. 3-0 and in elimination games. The, the Warriors have not played great uh, in their first closeout opportunities in series this season, being at home. But this is a maddening, maddening team. I've watched them every single game in person for six weeks. They are very, very unpredictable. I could sit here and make a case that they get whitewashed out tonight, and I could sit here and make a case that they're going to win the next two games. Anybody who wants to try to make a prediction on this, I wish them a lot of luck. So, Richard, what do you, I mean, if you're, we've gone over the Celtics issues, turnovers, right? They missed a bunch of free throws in the last game. What's the most important thing for them to do to make sure that they avoid those, those mistakes tonight? Well, I, I think you just have to, again, we talk about the Warriors not playing hero ball, being deliberate, understanding all this stuff about Jason Tatum playing up, uh, you know, two feet instead of one. All of these things go in it. You just have to trust yourself. You have to trust your teammates and you have to trust your decision making. And lastly, it's about Jason Tatum in the fourth quarter. It's about Jason Tatum in the fourth quarter. Is, is he going to be fatigued? Is he going to make his layups? His shooting percentage in the fourth quarter is something that he's never experienced in the history of him playing basketball uh, to have a stretch like this. So if Jason Tatum can come out and have a nine-point quarter, which is not anything crazy, all of a sudden, if this game is close, I think that the Boston Celtics can win that game. Vince, real quick final word. I'm just, I think they, if they can have a better second half in general, I mean, we talked about their struggles in the third quarter. They had a better third quarter, but if they can figure out the second half in general, better start and closing out the fourth quarter, Boston can have a chance, but I still say Golden State Warriors is going to pull this off and figure it out. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.